all right good morning good afternoon good evening this is the end time to television channel we urge you to subscribe to the channel activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video you will be among the first persons to be notified by google i'll be seeing you in the next video till then shalom hello good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching me from god bless you um the video you're about to watch is actually if you're looking for a devil if you're looking for or devils or demons you really don't need to go far because what the love of money has done to so many people in this life is beyond human imagination i will let you watch this exposure of this young man who was um a protege of one of your prophets the one that is called major one what a havoc that this man had caused in the lives of many people who he gave fake prophecies to um and maybe i should attach he, where he, this guy too was actually actually used as well to fake um a prophecy in Bushuri's church so that you understand that he is not just um, a mere fabricator. He, he was one, um, an insider. Bushuri met him in Zambia in 2013. But this video that I, I'm attaching to this now before the main video was taken in 2017. Whereas he was uh, part of Bushuri's um, workforce here, he was prophesied to us as though he was a stranger in the church. Well, I will let you watch the video and I will come back um, at the end of the video. Please, as you watch, mm, don't forget to put down your comments, like the video if you do, and uh, share the link to others. God bless you. I'll be seeing you at the end of the video. Thank you. Man, you were supposed to be in the UK. You were a man of God. Oh, you don't even understand what I'm talking about. I'm seeing people in Zambia. I don't know if you know anyone in Zambia. Zambia. I'm from You're Zambia. from Zambia. Yes. I see people. Oh, sit down. Oh, because of time. Major, 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 major. Professor. Major. That man, when he was at school, asked him, he was very intelligent. Wait. The family, his family. That man is very intelligent. And God He's going to use him. Just smack him away. And one day you'll remember more. Oh, uh, you know, when it comes to assignments, uh, the, the person that I really worked with is, uh, is Major One, which is uh, uh, Prophet Shepard Bushir. So for me, I, I actually met him in 2013. I met him back in, in Zambia before many people got to, to know him and before he moved to South Africa. That's when I got to meet him. And my first meeting with him, uh, I actually went to the church. I was invited to his church, uh, his branch there. I was invited to the branch. It was a new branch. And then I was told, oh, the prophet is coming and we want somebody who's going to be with him. And that's how I was chosen to be with him. I received him from the airport and um, I worked. I, I, I was told to be at his hotel. So I was at his hotel the whole time he was there. Uh, okay. protocoling him, uh, filtering people that are going in and out and and just watching over what was going on. He was him and there's another South African bishop called Bishop Mangola. So okay. I, that's how I met him. And during that period, I was like the person from Zambia who was supposed to be with him. So when he was ministering, doing his prophecies, I was the person holding his microphone and, and okay. doing all those things. So from then, that's when I had an encounter with him. Okay. I saw someone saying, talk about the test kits for HIV. Okay. So when, when, we, when, when, when you come to test kits for HIV, there are ser serological or chromatographic assays on the, when it comes to types of the test kits. So they have okay. a protein, they have an antigen, a protein. So when you put them under radiation, or in simple terms, if you put them in the microwave and then you test mm. an HIV positive person, it will show negative. Mm. 
Wow. So that's how, that's how Bushiro heals HIV. Puts the test kit in the microwave. Wow. When they test you, whether you're positive or negative, it's still going to show negative. I have so many people who have come to me and say, my uncle died, my so-so died, this person died when uh, Bushiri said they are, they are negative. So you don't actually wow. get negative. They put the test kit. I know there are, there are some false prophets who are watching now. They're going to start doing it. You put the test <laughs> kit in the microwave and it's going to show negative, no matter how positive the person is. Please say that again. They put the test kit you, in, the the strip is up, in the microwave. In the microwave. Then so they microwave it for so a certain... The, yes, they have the first kit which will test you live on TV. It's going to show uh, positive. Then they have, okay. the, they, they have one that is now denatured. Microwave, yeah. When you put it in the microwave, it gets, the protein gets denatured and when you test somebody, wow. the person becomes, it shows negative. So the person will be excited and throw away their antiretrovirals and wow. then they end up dying. So that's how HIV is healed. And, and you see, there are lots of people who place their faith on those kind of healings and throw away their arrogance because of what they saw on TV. So what you're saying to us is that what most of us see on those Christian Pentecostal channels you know, are fake, and we shouldn't build our faith on those things. Your faith, should never be built, your faith should never be built on, on what you are wow. seeing from another man. I always say that if you look for God in a man, that man will wow. become your God. That man will become your God. Whatever he says is what goes. Wow. If he says this, he says that, that's what happens. You see, like Bushir, Bushir would people, put people on fasting, and we are, we are there at the mountain eating. And I'm, when I say the mountain, I mean his hotel because it's on the mountain. He wow. put the wretches on fasting. While we are eating there. So you look at, sometimes you look at the members and you feel pity. You're like, so they are all fasting while we were eating. So their faith is because the man has said so. But the man is just, he doesn't care about them. He cares about what he can get from them. Sure. Look, David, I am at a breaking point. You don't know what I mean. I'm at a breaking point. The deception, especially with that of HIV, breaks me because I know a lot of people, you know, who are deceived in that manner. I know a lot of people who are deceived in that manner. And many of them couldn't make it. They died. I know families. I know families. I am trying, personally, I know how many people that I'm trying to convince to, you know, um, go back to their medical doctors and not continue with these false prophets. So you coming on this platform and telling us how those HIV negative results are, you know, manipulated is mind blowing. Well, you are welcome. I know you have watched the video and I don't have much to say. The only pain I have in all these things is that there we are a lot of people that probably died out of this. And uh, because once you were told by your prophet that you no longer have HIV, and of course there was a test conducted. Now, that means that they have laboratory in the church where they shun out this fake uh, test results so so many have died you know because they stopped using their medication after they have been given some bogus um test results that certified them hiv free hiv negative and they were told to go home and live their lives normally and some may have even gone ahead 
to distribute the thing because uh, not so many actually knew that they have to keep themselves. And so in the process of trying to live a free life, whereas they were still carrying the virus, now they had ended up not taking care of their lives, not taking care of themselves, and eventually most likely have died from the the consequences of the virus. Isn't that wickedness just because of money? Somebody will ask money. Of course, yes. The thousands of people that milled around him and attend this church is because of all these bogus miracles and the fake testimonies that they are shunning out. Am I saying that God is no longer capable of curing HIV? Never. Far from that. I see some persons, you know, saying that HIV, you know, cannot be cured by prayer. No, that is blatant lies. HIV is 100% curable by God. But my question and confusion is, why fake something that can actually be real? If you don't have this, you don't have it. But you can actually you can actually talk to God and God in his infinite mercy can dispense this anointing on you. It is wickedness. These people are far worse than the devil himself. Oh, I'm sure that sometimes when Satan see them, he shudders because he, he, he is surprised that they can invent something that as as sinister, as wicked, and as heartless as this. May God uh, give you understanding. In case you will come after me to defend him, may God give you understanding. I won't ask you, I won't pray for you to have the experience, but may God give you understanding. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Uh, till then, from me to you, shalom.